baby, Naj works her like a nine to five. Okay, Naj works her like a job. Baby, do you hear me? Say you wanna work it out. Say you wanna work it out, baby. Naj worked her out like fitness, baby, okay? Look, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta check the cost. Still independent, still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming up they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame my hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto. So the nigga out, treat him like a free code. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say thank you. What's up, Lucci Gang? Get your girl Lucci V and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be recapping the latest episode of Now That's TV's Young and Reckless, because you guys really liked my last review, so I was like, okay, I'll keep it going or whatever. <laughs> so yes, if you would like to see my recap and my thoughts on the latest episode, then stay tuned to this video right here. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding, ding, ding. And let's get it. Okay, so this episode picked up right where the last episode ended where Mima and Naj was getting in another round. <sighs> My girl Mima Monopoly, y'all, she is so pretty. Like, she's beautiful. But baby, she was not ready for what Naj was about to put up on her, y'all. It... Then they want to see now this TV days, they, they so messy because they slows it down and they zooms in on the hits to the face. And it was just Duke, 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 Duke. I'm like, oh my gosh, Mima, cover it up or something, block your face or something. Baby, Naj works her like a nine to five. Okay, Naj works her like a job. Baby, do you hear me? Say, you want to work it out. So you want to work it out, baby. Naj worked her out like fitness, baby, okay? I felt bad for Mima. But it was like, at least she wasn't scary. And at least she, you know, she tried to stand her ground. So, y'all know in the last episode, they started playing a game called Young and Reckless. You pull a little card or something, a little sticky note, and it tells you something to do or say or whatever. And uh, we don't know what Mima said because she was like, ooh, this one says. And then she just... Ran and attacked Naj out of nowhere. So we don't know what her car says, but I, I mean, I really, I guess she felt like, oh, I could sneak her and get the one up. But it was like she snuck her and just did nothing but get worked. I felt bad because Mima's really, really cute and pretty. But it was just like, baby, you you got to play them games with somebody else. Everybody who, who watching Now That's TV, even she said herself, Naj is one of her favorite fighters on Now That's TV. We know that Naj don't play around. You knew that already, baby. So I don't even know why you jumped out there with her. You you should have started off slow. You should have tried somebody like Crystal. Somebody a little easier to play with or something like that. I don't... I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad, I ain't gonna lie. Me and my girl... Don't do that no more. If y'all got a reunion or something, don't try to get your lick back on Naj G. Because you know she's going to fold you up. So let's just not do that. So poor Mima. She ended up packing her bags and going home. It was just a little too much for my girl. She said she got stuff to do. She got money to make all that. Yeah, go make your money, sister. Go make your money doing whatever it is you do. I saw on her Twitter. I guess she's like an exotic dancer. Go make your money doing that. Because you definitely can't make it boxing. That's not for you. You got boxed out. Okay. So they decided to continue this game, this young and reckless game. They pulling, you know, the sticky. No Is this this eyelash tickling me? Like it's something tickling on my face. Okay, they decided to continue this young and reckless game. And Cuzzo pulls a car, and she was kind of just like, "Oh, I don't really want to do this." But Cuzzo ended up pulling a card that says she had to go around the room and do a smell check to everybody. I wouldn't want to do that either. I, I wouldn't have wanted to do that. Why did I? <laughs> That's how y'all know. I just would not have wanted to have to, to have to go around and do a smell check to a whole room full of girls. I don't want to smell check nobody. Honestly, truly. I don't want to do that. But she was re very reluctant, but she ended up doing it. And she went around the room. She said everybody smelled good. Sav, I already figured that Sav was on her period because she was just looking so uncomfortable when it was even like. When she found out it was a smell check, but you know, when she got the salve, she didn't want to let her smell because she was on her period. Which is under, she was like, that's weird, that's weird. And I mean, like, it wasn't, I mean, I guess that kind of was like a weird 
thing to put on the on the card. That was kind of weird. But it's like, I really feel like Sav really felt like it was overly weird since she was on her period. And it was just kind of like, dang, I don't want you to put your head down there while I'm on the rag, sister. So, um, the next person to pull a card was Crystal. Y'all know she from Chicago. Now, Crystal asked, could she come on my YouTube channel on Tiwa Luchi V? And it's like, y'all comment down below if y'all think I should let Crystal come on. Y'all let me know if y'all want her on there. But Crystal pulls a card and it basically says, like, I guess, like, pick someone to pick a, to make a dare for you. She picked Naj, of course, because she be. And it's like, y'all know I'm not no fake. I'm not no fake girl. Because if Crystal come on, on TV, I'm going to be for real with her. Like, she really is looking like she is, like, D-riding some of the girls on there. Like, no T, no shade. But, of course, she picked Naj because, like, she's in love with Naj. Like, Naj, Naj, Naj. Like. And you know, ain't nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with that because I mean, I enjoy watching Naj too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, girl, relax. Um, but Naj ended up picking the deer for her, and Naj was like, "Slap your least favorite person." Naj so petty <laughs> for choosing that deer, but Crystal decides to go slap the girl Cass, and baby. I don't know why Crystal thought it was going to be something playful. Like, oh, slapping back up. Soon she slapped the girl. She gagged. She gagged Cass at first. She like, whoa, hold on. Girl, Cass got up there, baby. She, I already knew she was going to work Crystal by the way she squared up. She was like, when girls get to rolling that back arm up, when they rolling that up, they rolling up ass whooping. So you might as well sit this one out, sister. Or no tea, no shade. When they get to, she was squaring up like that. I said, oh, yeah, she finna do her biggest one. I already know it. And. Poor Crystal, like, and y'all know now that TV slowed up, slowed the tussles down. And it was like, Crystal was swinging, but all her, it was like landing on the girl arms and on the girl chest. It was no, like, face shots. Like, the girl cast was just, walk up, 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 She was, she was doing Crystal in. And Crystal eyes was closed. Crystal was swimming. It's like the Chicago girls that now that's TV be picking don't never be the the girls from the projects. Like the girls from I'm a, I'm gonna need them. And I'm just saying, like if y'all gonna pick the, the LA and California girls that's hooded and be gang banging and all that, y'all gotta pick the Chicago girls that be gang banging too. Cause like you know. Uh, baby, it's huh. okay. So, um, after that, um, Ferrari lets them know that she's gonna pick four girl girls to go hang out with her, and they're going to go sneaker doodling. Um, I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. I knew what it was. Soon she said sneaker doodling, I already figured what it was. Like, just use context clues. Some of them was like, "Oh, I didn't even know what it's gonna be, baby." You, what else was sneaker doodling gonna be? You knew y'all weren't finna make no sneaker doodle cookies. Sneaker doodle, what that sound like? You finna go doodle on some damn sneakers. Like, stop playing, girl. Y'all knew what time it was. But, anyways, she chose. Dang, I should have wrote in my notes who she chose. She chose Kai. Um. Hold on. Let me, let me check and see and make sure I, I'm saying the right names that she chose. Okay, so the four girls that Ferrari chose to go hang out with her to go sneaker doodling were Kai, Kuzo, Naj, and Sa. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I did not know that girl Sa name this whole time. I just, I just literally had to turn it on to see the name. I have not known her name this whole season. No tea, no shade. But yeah. So um, after they leave or whatever, we have a big surprise. My girl, Queen D. I'm saying my girl. I don't know her personally, but I like Queen D on other shows. I saw her on. Queen D comes in and she is like the special guest, like co-host something. Um, hold on. I'm looking a little oily. No shade. But we don't do the oil. But um, <laughs> Queen D comes in and she's supposed to be like a, a special like co-host while Ferrari's gone or something like that. So she was like asking the girls like, you know, what make you young and reckless or whatever. And 
you know, getting to know the girls or whatever. And she asked Crystal and Cass, like, why they got in the tussle. And it was just like, you know, Cass was saying how she was kind of confused because she was like, you know, you just was talking to me. And she like, Crystal, like, no, I was talking to Cuzzo. But it's like, I don't know. I just feel like if I don't really like somebody and I'm feeling like, you know, is that enough, that enough pressure to where I would slap you? Like, I'm not even finna be acting like I'm conversing with you at all. So I could understand why Cass was confused. Like, girl, we was just kicking it. Like, and Crystal was like, no, it, it just. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. To me, it crystal be tweaking a little bit to me. No shade. Like crystal be tweaking a little bit to me. Um, so fast forward to them doing the sneaker doodle. Like I said, it was they went with Ferrari. So it was Ferrari, Naj, Kazo, Kai, and Sa. Okay. In the middle of the when they're about to start the sneaker sneaker doodling, this like a tongue twister, goddamn. When they about to start the sneaker doodling, um, in comes Mel, Melanie Fox, and Legacy. The two that they thought had went home. And they like, oh, for Robert, like, oh, did you guys enjoy your break? They like, break? We thought they went home. Uh-uh, just a break, sister. Now, immediately when they walk in, the girl sat is looking like very, like, you know, like she, she got something to get off her chest. Apparently, you on the last episode before legacy went home it was a situation where the girl put like production asked does anyone have some sunglasses the girl sad gave her sunglasses and she didn't know that they were for legacy she found out they were for legacy then she was mad because she don't like legacy like petty goofy stuff that was not even that serious but um she claims that she heard that legacy said that like she's on that with her when she see her type thing so she was like you know she was feeling like i guess a little animosity in the room when Legacy and Mel Fox walked in. But, I mean, it seemed like Legacy and Mel wasn't really on that. Like, they energy wasn't given. Like, we coming to tussle. So it was like, okay. You know. Um, but, basically, to sum it all up, they was chilling, it seemed like. And then, just out of nowhere, the girl sat, attacked Legacy. And it was just like, first of all, girl, we in this establishment, G. It's just like, I just feel like she really could have waited till they got home to do all that. Why are you doing that in these people's sneaker doodle establishment, girl? And then it's like, I don't know. I ain't going to lie. It seemed like the girl sat on a little moment or something. She been under the radar all season, like, and really not giving much. It just really seemed like she won a little moment real bad or something. I don't know. It's like, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling her. I'm not really feeling her on this show. Like, she's a pretty girl. So don't get me wrong. I, you know, she's a pretty girl, but definitely not my favorite. Um, so now that we are well into the season, you guys have been asking who's my favorite. Y'all know, I don't like to pick my favorite at the beginning of the season. Cause you kind of, you know, you got to wait to get to see, you know, what's T. Um, I don't really, I don't think I have a favorite. I kind of like the girl KP a little bit. She's pretty, but I don't think I have a favorite. Oh, I like, I, okay, if I had to pick a favorite, I guess I would say Cuzzo. Because Cuzzo, she kind of just like mind her business. She's cute, but she's not scary because she already had handled Shea Bands at the beginning. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pick Cuzzo. Um, speaking of Shea Bands, on a preview for the next episode, they are addressing Shea Bands for apparently being messy. I guess she was like telling stuff and like starting-ish, like, Shea Benz, sister, I hope you was not doing that, girl. Um, I actually did have a conversation with Shea Benz a few weeks ago. If you guys know I'm casting for a TV show. Um, Well, I'm completed casting now, so don't get in the comments like how do I audition. The auditions are closed. I've picked the cast, all of that. But Shea Benz had auditioned, Um, so I did get on the phone with her a few weeks ago. And she kind of told me the situation, like, and you, like she let me know, like, in a few episodes, you're going to see whole house turn on me all that um from what she explained to me it seemed a little different on what i'm seeing on the preview so i'm gonna just wait and stay tuned and see um but yes you guys this is my conclusion i don't know if i'm gonna do mean girls i didn't even know a new show came out um until somebody commented on my instagram and asked me was i gonna do mean girls so comment down below if you guys want me to review mean girls on now this tv as well 
and as usual thank you guys for watching but before i go let me say this because when i do my reviews on zeus shows usually not many people like if i say my opinions on stuff not many of the girls really say anything back because i think they understand i'm just doing a review but when i do like shows on out tv south century bed and stuff like that and i say my opinions if it's not in favor of certain girls then they try to make a little post about me and they get mad they want to get into it with me i'm not getting into it with none of y'all over my opinions on on the show i ain't gonna lie to you this is not anything personal i don't know any of y'all i'm not taking you know what i'm saying this is just my opinion as a viewer watching the show so if you get mad about my opinion baby just save it because i'm not about to get into it with none of y'all over my opinion on this show okay i ain't gonna hold you okay so thank you guys for watching